All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to our One Minute Wisdom series of tips and techniques. Today, we're going to talk about um, some methods and some tips when adjusting clasp arms of cast metal partials. Um, such is the case that it's almost never um, going to be a patient where we make a frame and that sucker fits right in the mouth without any kind of adjustment whatsoever. Sometimes we're going to have that. Um, other times we're going to need to make some kind of adjustment being uh, some days grinding inside. But today we're going to focus on how to properly adjust a clasp arm when you need to do so. The biggest tip that we can offer when adjusting a clasp arm, there's two places that we normally see clinicians grab. One being out here when they need a little bit more retention. Out here in this region, this is not a good place to adjust a clasp arm. When you adjust a clasp arm, you want to adjust it back at the furthest point closest to your framework that's where you'll find it will have the most rigidity, the most strength. If we need to gain some retention, bending it right there is going to give it just enough. Once we have a denture that is processed, a partial that is, still the same thing applies. You always want to grab that clasp as far back toward the acrylic as possible. That's where it's going to be its strongest. If you grab it out here, if you grab it here, you're much more likely to have a fracture and then you're going to have a bad day when that finished partial has to come back to the lab and some repair work has to be done.